Hello dear, how are you all doing? I hope you are doing fine. I'm here with another word, another Bible study this evening. And the team here is endure the process. Yes. He who begin a good work in you is able to finish it. Right? And that is Philippians 1 verse 6. Right? So just enjoy the process. Right? Things might not be going too great at the moment. You might face a lot of ups and downs. You might face illnesses. You might face um, financial loss. You might even lose your loved one. You know? You might, you know, even feel um, broken. You know because of one reason or the other but just endure the process he who begin a good work in you is able to complete it yes today is not my best day because today I was really sneezing a lot and you know it, it make you feel a bit um, weary Yes, but you know what? With God, I can do all things. Amen. So today, Bible study is going to be about enjoy the process. But I'm going to be reading St. John 14, and then I'll talk about it. I hope you're doing fine in your neck of the wood, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. So let us get into the Word, but we will say a quick prayer before we start the Word. Thank you, Jesus. Eternal God and our Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight. Mighty God, you know my down-sitting and my uprising. Father God, you know my thought of far off, mighty God. I thank you that you are the Almighty God. I thank you, Lord God, that you don't see us as all others see us. I thank you, Lord, that you are very patient and understanding with us, O oh God. Father, Lord, I thank you as I'm about to go into your word, Father. I pray, divine God, that your word, Lord, will cut me deep. Father, Lord, it will cut me sh um, like a two-edged sword. It will pierce the, uh, the marrow and the intent of the heart, Father, and it will clean us as we hear your word. Father God, I pray that your word will become a medicine to our soul. Mighty God, I pray when, you, when my listeners, my subscribers, and my viewers, Hear your word, Father, that their heart will be ready to accept the word that as it spoke, Lord, it will enter their spirit. Father, bless everyone tonight. Bless my household. Bless my listener, my viewers, and my subscriber also. Father, I pray for those around the world at this moment that are going through some challenge of the sort, whether it's illness, whether it's financial um, difficulties, whether it's um, loss of a loved one, whether it's they lost their home, lost their job, whatever it is, Lord, you know it, Lord. I pray, God, that they will enjoy the process that you are taking them through, knowing that in due season, you will come true for them. Lord, I lift up everyone before you tonight. Remember your people across the globe, in the four corners of the world, I pray your divine blood coverage over them. I pray you protect them. I pray you hide them in your blood, Father, especially the children them. Father God, let your will be done. Father, and above everything, I pray, God, for their soul to be saved by you. Mighty God, I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and revelation of your word. I look to you tonight, and I give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So guys, I'm going to read St. John 14, and here I've got my Bibles, so I've got my life in the spirit, and I've got my amplifier, so the Bible, and then I'm going to read now, all right, and then we're going to look at the verses, isn't it, all right, so here we go with the word of God, so I want you guys to have a glimpse of the, of the Bible, it's, yes, all right. So, have a, have a little glimpse of the Bible. Yes, that's it. So, it's, so here I've got the Bible. 
So I'm going to read St. John 14, and I'm starting at verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. He believeth in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So Jesus is saying to us that in his Father's house, there is enough room for us. Yes, there are many mansions, so there are many rooms to accommodate all of us, all right? I go to my to prepare, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. And whither I go, he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Jesus is telling Thomas, you have been with me for so long. How can you not know the way? And this is what happened to many of us believers. We have been in church for many years, but yet still we do not know that Jesus is the way to salvation. I pray that your heart will be touched tonight. I pray that God will give you a revelation of the way to salvation in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. So Jesus is telling Thomas that he is the way to salvation. He is the only way. He is the truth and he is the life. Without him, we have no life. He is the one that gone to Calvary to lay down his life, to reclaim us back to salvation. Bless the Lord. Verse 7, if he had known me, he should have known my father also. And from henceforth, he know him and have seen him. Bless the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I read over from verse 1 to verse 7, because this is the key part here. It's very important. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. Even though you're going through a hard time at the moment, even though you have some trying time, you have some tough situation, let not your heart be troubled. Endure the process. Jesus is instructing us that he's gone to prepare a place for us. And if he has gone to prepare a place for us, he is going to come back and receive us unto himself. Because Jesus is the way to salvation. And Jesus is a man of his word. His word is yea and amen. Bless God. Yes. So in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. And whither I go, he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not, the, not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Praise the Lord. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Bless the Lord. Jesus is telling Thomas, look, you have the way 
in your present. Just walk in the way, you know? Walk in the way. Because Jesus is the way and he's in the presence of Thomas. So just walk in the way. Amen. So just like you will have a brother or a sister attending church for 20 years, 15 years, 10 years, 5 years, but yet still they fail to commit their life to the Lord. They fail to, to acknowledge God and take their water baptism and acknowledge God in full service. But they will come as a spectator every week, every month, every year, and they will not commit to the Lord. So what Jesus is telling Thomas, you have the opportunity. Just walk in the way because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Right? You would say to a brother, a brother or a sister, commit your life to the Lord. You have the, the opportunity now. They will be at the altar, but they are telling you they are not ready. They are not ready to make a commitment to the Lord, but yet still, they don't know how long they have to live. Yet still, they do not know when the time is going to call, them, when the time is going to come for them to go home to eternity. We are making plan and God is wiping. We are making plan and God is wiping. All right? So when we have this opportunity to make plan to serve the Lord, we should not put it off. Because we don't know when God is going to put in his appearance or he's going to call us home. Many a time we idle out our salvation and the time to, to accept Christ. And sometimes the ending up do not get that opportunity. I myself have a sister who did not get that chance. She wanted to go and baptize Sunday and she died on Saturday. So sometimes... We are saying, oh, I'm going to make my commitment next week. I'm going to make my commitment next year. And yet still, they don't get the opportunity. My sister, she didn't get the opportunity. She wanted to baptize Sunday. She planned to baptize Sunday. And she died on Saturday. None of us know the minute or the hour when God is going to call us home or he's going to put in his appearance. All right? So I'm just giving you that little nugget there. All right? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If he had known me, he should have known my Father also. And from henceforth he know him and have seen him. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet have you not known me, Philip? He that had seen me had seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? So Jesus come as the Son, but Jesus is also the Father. All right? Just like you'd have an orange. You have the inside of the orange, you have the peg, you have the, the white bit on the out layer, and you have the, the outside skin. That's how I could um, identify it. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in one. You have the middle of the orange, you have the white area, then you have the skin. That's how I would um, that them are identify the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But yet still, you would have the orange like that, but it's still the orange because it's one. You have the inside of the orange, you have the, the white area, and then you have the skin, but it's still an orange. That's how I look at it, yeah? I hope you can get some sense out of what I'm saying. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Believe though not that I am in the Father and the Father in me, see? So he is one with the Father. Hey, <laughs> glory to God. Jesus is one with the Father. Glory! Jesus and, the, and God is one. Yes, yes, Jesus. Believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me. <laughs> and the word that I speak unto you 
I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. You see? Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God is one. Hey, glory to God. You see? Let me go back. Verse 10. Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. They are one. The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. <laughs> Jesus and God is one. You see? Yes. He does the work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do shall he do also, and greater work than these shall he do because i go unto my father and whatsoever he shall ask in my name that will i do and the father may be glorified in the son bless the lord if he shall ask anything in my name i will do it bless the lord if he love me keep my commandment you see when we are saying that we love God, but when we don't keep the commandment, what does that say about our love for God? Oh, God of mercy. Father God, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I repent. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And he may abide, that he may abide with you forever. Bless the Lord. So I go to 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it see him not. So the world cannot receive God because they haven't seen him and they haven't understand him. Neither know it him, but he know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world see me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also, bless the Lord. And that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, and I am in you. He that at my commandment and keep it them he is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be lover of my father and i will love him and will manifest unto him and manifest myself unto him bless the lord i leave the 21 year jesus is the way the truth and the life jesus and god is one just like you got orange, you got the inside of the orange, you got the white area of the orange, and you got the skin. All of that bit make together a one orange. You have the Father, you have the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit. That's how I can understand it. Thank God for revelation. We give God glory. So let us go to um see what the um the summary is saying. So verse, uh, we're going to look at verse 3. I will come back again and I will take you. Peter may, may, may have failed Jesus, but Christ will not fail to return for Peter and for everyone else who have believed in him. So when God told us something, an instruction, he is going to carry out his part of the, the plan. So enjoy your process. Even though it might be hard and difficult, enjoy your process. Because God never go back at his word. Peter may have failed Jesus, but Christ will not fail to return for Peter. 
Even though we fail God, he will not fail to look after us. He will not fail to return to receive us. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to go further because we don't have a lot of time to talk about. But what I'm saying to you, my brothers and my sister, endure the process. When Jesus was on the earth, he endured his process. He was a lamb to the slaughter. They hung him high, they stretched him wide, they put nail in his hand, in his foot. They nail him to the cross. They give him vinegar to drink. You know why they give him vinegar? Because they want him to suffer. He have gone through the process for us. We too have to go on to our process. Yes, so we have to take up our cross and follow him. It's not going to be easy. He told us in his word. He said, in this world, you will have tribulation. But remember, I have overcome the world. God bless you. I'm going to leave it here for tonight. But let us just give God thanks for the word. Eternal God and our Father, I thank you for your word. That go forth tonight. I pray that your word, Lord God, will enter the heart of each and every one of us that hear this word. I pray that it will take precedent inside of us. Father God, you say the word is like an armor that breaks the rock in pieces. I pray, divine God, that the word of God will break our stony heart and it will enter our soul and it will germinate and bear fruit in there. I pray that it will stir up our, our, our heart to do the right things by you, almighty God. I pray that it will cleanse us and lead us into complete truth and, and righteousness to look to you and to turn our heart to you and to tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now. I don't want this video to be too long. God bless you.